Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I'll be doing a review of the book Nightfall by Maria Trull. And this book just came out in the US, but I think it's been available for a while in other regions. And um, it just came out, so I ordered it. I pre ordered it from Amazon, um, which is something I didn't used to do before, but I started doing recently. And, um, and I just got it a few days ago, and um, I am ready to do my review about it. This book is eight and a half by 10 inches, I believe. Um, it is hard bound and double sided. I just want to show you guys this. Hold on before we get into the actual, uh, I might have to do it like a little bit like this. Okay, this is fine. Um, I just want to show you guys this in a little bit more detail. This is I did this with watercolor pencils. And I use the um, Faber Castell artist pit pens, as well as using a little bit of colored pencil. And I just want to show you how well this takes all this different mediums. And let me show you the back so you can see that it did not bleed at all. There's no bleeding on the other side. You can see that there's no bleeding. There's a little bit of buckling, but there's no bleeding. Um, and this is really nice actually for a double sided book. Um, I really, I was really impressed by this book. I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, let's see. Um, so she has a sort of whimsical style. Um, and so let's get started. And I got this set up. This is the first time I got it set up to be able to record at this level. So I can't exactly see what I'm recording. I can kind of see the base images, but you know, you guys can, can follow along with me. It's got some birds and flowers and it's got a very sort of natural whimsy style. She does have some pages in the, um, where the background is all black. So it's done for you. Um, I tend not to be a fan of that. Uh, the other thing is that it doesn't happen a lot, but there are some pages that are bound in this way. And I never like this, um, when it hits the spine like this, cause it becomes difficult, if not impossible to get into the edges. And, um, this one is right when the, where the seaming is done. Um, I don't know my book binding language, but, um, it's, uh, right in there where I guess the signature is bound in, um, is sewn in. And, um, I don't like that at all. I really want it to be separated. I really, I just, I just do not like that at all. And that's just me personally, but I've seen other people sort of work around it and do a really good job. There are some human figures here, so you can do, there's a lot of, um, whimsical things, Let's see if we can get this a little closer. You got a little bird with his little, um, got a little bird with his little, uh, bath thing going on. And in the back, she does give you a listing of the flowers that are used, but I found that to be, I mean, it's nice that it's there, but it's somewhat useless because the pages don't have page numbers. Um, so this is one of the many things that you could do with a single sided book where you would have the picture in one side and in the back you would have a description of the of that on the back and that's how um that's how the um i think it's called like birds by um georgie woodridge um and there'll be a link up there to both of those books um she did another one i think called animals or something so both of those will, will be available i did review both of those so i'll give you a link to that up there um but there are some human figures here for you to review um for you to i'm sorry for you to color in the human figures and practice your skin tone i really like this kind of thing because um i can use watercolor pencils i mean i always prefer a single-sided perforated pages uh and by the way i did a video on um my feelings of joanna bassford and people got real salty about it it was insane i had no idea um i mean i was a little salty but like people took it way to another level and it's like i think that there's a certain sense of you know fanboyism or brand loyalty that i've never like that's never been my thing is i review the specific product that i have and um and I, you know, tell you my feelings about the products. And I mean, I like certain brands. Oh, this is really, see how she has got the birds and the nest going. Um, and I'll tell you my opinions on the products that I review. I'm not really here to be loyal to any particular brand or, you know, or whatever. So, you know, it's, it's a thing that I, I felt for a long time that it's not something that everybody can do. So like, for example, um, uh, Maria Trull, um, I believe this book is very, very, um, sort of, um, done in a very sort of, um, 
limited way. Like, I don't know if she's self-published, but either way, this isn't, you know, this isn't the book that you can go into all your Barnes and Nobles and see. So I know for a fact that she can't, you know, she doesn't have like $5 million, 5 million copy sales. But, you know, for somebody like Janet Basford, who has millions and millions of copies for sale, I can think of no book. You know, I said this in the comments multiple times. People kept, you know, harping on me about it. I can think of no book that's been published that has that kind of sales that doesn't have multiple editions of the same book. It's very, it's very, very typical, you know, for a book to be published multiple editions. You know, you get your soft cover, your hard cover. And I know that some people really would prefer the least expensive version um, however that comes about. And, you know, you know, that's one of the few brands of adult coloring books that can do that. And, you know, I, I was just saying that I was not pleased that, you know, that I still cannot get my book in multiple editions. Anyway, um, yes, I know about the artist edition, but it wasn't the same. It was like, you know, getting all the pages. Anyway, um, I just want to show you like the really whimsical, cute style that she has here. Um, I love the different flowers that she did here. Um, again, you know, as I said earlier, I really would have preferred that the pages were either numbers. So you, cause you know, in the back, let me show you. So in the back, she's got a listing of all the different flowers that are used and the pages that they're in but the pages aren't numbered so it's kind of a little bit of like do I want to count out to page 35 and potentially get the wrong one no I'm not going to count it out I'm sorry I'm not um, oh and by the way there are uh, I believe 98 pages here so probably around since it's double-sided probably around I would say at least 90 different images and it is a lot of images here um, I think i purchased this book like I said I pre-ordered so sometimes when you pre-order you do pay a little bit more I think I paid like 13 and change um, but I think I saw it earlier today on Amazon for 12 and change so it's you know it's not it's surprisingly not a lot of money for a um, for a hardbound you know coloring book but um, but the pages are not perforated and you see once again with this and and I know some people like to have the the art go all the way to the edge I really like to have room to do it in. Um, anyway, I'm just sitting here. Sorry, running off at the mouth, talking about all sorts of other things. I do apologize for that. Um, but that is kind of what I do. You know, I'm sort of long winded and repeat myself sometimes. Um, which is why my wife is hilarious. She's always like, oh, I love your channel. She doesn't watch my videos, but she's like, oh, I love your channel. Because she's like, you know, you get somebody else to talk to other than her. She, don't, she doesn't listen to me, um, which I'm totally not bitter about. <laughs> I'm sorry, going on all these tangents. All right, so yeah, this is, um, I don't know. I feel like this is some sort of Fennec Fox or something. Um, she may also list the names, the animals that are here, um, but I believe that it's only the plants that are listed um, that are here. So you can see here, really, really beautiful. And I, I really do love the art here and I love the way, and, and all I did was this little bit um, here, but I love the way that um, you're able to really create something unique here with this style. You can take the, you know, the style and some, some coloring books are more flexible than others and sort of letting you get your own vision across. And this book is really good. Um, I don't like this black background. I know some people, some people really like them. I'm, I'm not a fan. Um, but I'm not sad that I got the book or anything. It's just, you know, just so you know that some pages have the backgrounds done for you. I'm big fan of doing my own backgrounds, doing my own shading. Um, okay. Half the time I don't, most of the time I don't do the background, but that's not the point. I, I want to decide what kind of background it is. And I want to decide to leave my background blank. Um, <laughs> which is sort of like, you know, that's how I live my life. It's like, I want to decide, you know, what to do. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, I do hope I'm not turning the pages too fast because I'm trying to give you guys a, um, a sense of the, the styles. I love the fact that there are some human figures here, but it's not a lot. So if you're not comfortable doing skin tones, it's not as if you're losing out on anything. Um, that's a hedgehog, I believe, of some sort. Um, you're not, you know, losing out on anything if you can't, um, if you, you know, don't want to do skin tones. There's still plenty here for you. Oh, look at the kitty cat. I love the kitty cat. Um, so there's that. And, um, I have been, 
Oh, this is so pretty. I will say that some of the the all black pages, I will say there's a couple here. The one with the tree. Hold on. There's one with the tree. I think I missed it. But there's I mean it's I would say it's like a third of the pages have the background filled in for you. Okay, I can't find it now. But there was one with a three that reminded me of this movie that I have been totally obsessed with. Um we have Netflix, so I you know, I was like, whatever. Um, and somebody recommended this movie called San Junipero, which is like a TV movie. And I have been so obsessed with that movie. It's little, it's like an hour long. Um, and I've literally watched it like at least eight or nine times um, since I found out about it. And it's like just a really fun sort of, I think the show is generally like a Twilight Zone kind of show. And most of the episodes are really, eh. and I think that that was the one episode with happy ending. So I was really so, and it was a very cute episode and it had a sort of happy ending. Um, so I really enjoyed that. Um, anyway, sorry, I am so going off of tangents and the butterflies. Um, I definitely want to go. It's almost about to close. Actually, I think it closed at the end. It closes at the end of April. The American Museum of Natural History in New York City. They have a little butterfly exhibit with live butterflies. And, um, I want to go before... Um, before the exhibit closes just showing you this one all right this is kind of pretty like this okay but I'm still not I'm still not you know I'm still not sold on it look at this again with this like it's it I don't know I feel like it cuts into I, I don't know I feel like it cuts into my enjoyment look at this so it's basically like this is the thing about it so like it's basically like it's here but because you can't get into it essentially it becomes like two different halves so why not already just have i don't know like i, I just i'm not a fan um and this book is not as bad as some of the other books um the very first rant i ever did was on um i forget his name but it was like um some kind of, i don't know it was um kirby something i think it's the person's the the author's name in the book and it was the the public the the art was beautiful but it was really extreme with these sort of like joins like this and there was like no way around it um and i've never been a fan of it same thing happened with the harry potter book the harry potter book also did that and some of the early basford books also had that sort of binding issue and i'm i'm just not a fan of it but anyway um that's neither here nor there this this reminds me of um <laughs> Oddly, this reminds me of the Black Lotus uh, magic playing card, um, which is like this super rare playing card. And I, I don't get a chance to play magic anymore because I got the YouTube channel. I'm married now. It's just I ain't got no time for that. Um, but I do miss it. It was a lot of fun when I was in college and we would sit around doing that in college. Anyway, oh my God, I've sort of been rambling today. Today has been a rambly day. So at the very end, um, you get the... Um, you get the pages with the plants listed, the name of the plants listed on here. Um, and there's one more page. I think this is a test page. Yep, it's a test page. So you can test your medium here. Um, and it goes to the back of this. Um, and then there's the black paper here and the black cover with some information, some reading, which you guys know I did not do. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and staying with me while I went off on all sorts of tangents today. Darn. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like this video. Um, don't forget to share, subscribe, all that other stuff. Um, and um, I, have a, I have a Facebook group in addition to having a Facebook page. And I did a video talking about the Facebook group and all that other stuff. And I'll give you a link to that up there. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to stay for the, um, the cat video. And thank you again to the patrons who make it possible for me to do stuff like pre-order a book like this. And I have to worry about writing the publisher and trying to figure out who to write to or whatever. Um, so that's what these sorts of things are possible. Thanks to the patrons. Um, and there'll be a link down in the description for, um, talking about the Patreon page and all that other stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the cat video. All right. Bye.